All right, here we go. We are once again on Sandrum for this 2v2 ranked game. It will be between the blue team in the upper left. Pro, 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 pro in the void, Neo. And LiveYR in the void bomber against... I think this is going to be a little bit more even. It is Lay Assassin in the Iron Hand bomber and Atila in the Steampunk Osprey. Carbon team choosing, choosing to focus. Blue team choosing to split. Similar to the last Sandrum game, uh, but... Uh, but different. Let's just say similar, but different. And now it seems that the carbon team is starting to split up. Tyla taking the left side. Um, I am a little curious to see what happens if a team goes straight for corner on Sandrum. I don't think anyone does that, but um, with these neutral starting outposts thing, um, I, I'm very, I'm very curious to see how that could pan out. Um, so yeah, the bomber, Mantis striking away. Oh man, high ground to low ground. I don't know if that's okay. Jumps over the barrier. And uh, Tyla now contesting Pro Pro. Pro Pro actually, and Pro lost actually his units. Especially against an Osprey. Yeah, an Osprey against the Neo in that situation. The Neo is going to lose their units. Assuming equal skill. Equal skill of a high caliber, I guess. Now blue team gonna go for the top right. Carbon team gonna be able to grab the top, uh, the bottom left pretty quick, pretty much right now. And we have an even map split, folks. It really now depends on scouting and kind of team coordination. If these if these players can attack uh, in a coordinated manner, and Pro gonna be able to neutralize this post, he'll probably be able to take it with these jumpers, considering that uh, the carbon team players are here and here. Tyler now coming back. But uh, it will be neutralized very, very fast. Lai doing a little bit of harass. Or no, sorry. That was Lay Assassin. Probably not going to get that far either. So uh, I think... Oh boy. Pro Pro actually getting killed by the Heavy Flacker. But oh man. A Tyler really won't help getting finished off by the Seeker. Lai doing the majority of the end damage there. So yeah. They need to take that outpost back. And ideally clear these neutrals on their side. That way their creeps can start leaking in. Should they need to. Oh, that is just food for a bomber right there. All those Longhorn just clumped up. Let's see what abilities Lay Assassin. Every point to Mantis Strike. That's how strong Mantis Strike is right now. I'm really hoping we can get a nerf in for that sometime soon. Make it more reasonable to use or to make it more uh, costly to use. Something like that. Lai going to be able to get this neutralization to Tyla responding very quick. But Pro with a couple of soldiers. This will go to the blue team right now. What do they have in queue to reinforce? Lay Assassin is nowhere to be seen. He will. He is on his way. But a full bunkered outpost. This is belonging to the blue team. There is nothing that the Carbon team can do right now. They Oh, okay. But a Tyla's like, bottom outpost? I don't need no bottom outpost. I'm going to push right through. And Pro, it does look like Pro is, uh, try, he was trying to contest that, but, um, yeah. Didn't really get too far. Lai abusing the Mentor Strike as much as he possibly can. And Lay Assassin gonna push in. Ooh, okay. And we have this over here. Tyla maintaining his units. Will he go to Fort? Okay, he's gonna push, he's gonna pull back. He's choosing to pull back. Lay Assassin coming with a couple of supportive creeps, assuming that uh, they were going to push into that post, I think. So are we going to see a hold position up here on the high ground? That's kind of a classic high-tier, uh, you know, high-level move to make. But Tyler getting finished off. Lay Assassin neutralizing the post. So we will go down the ramp here. But the blue units outnumber the carbon units, especially now the blue team has it under their control. It has the post under their control. But Lay Assassin here, the only mech here... Pro coming with a couple of jumpers, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Blue team is kind of behind now that they did not have the mech support. 55 to 53, so overall upkeep is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty even. Lai coming with a couple units, as the bomber can do a lot to that clumped up, uh, yeah, carbon clump of units on the right side. This is chaos right now. The Carbon team taking the outpost back under the control, but the blue team just needs to get this neutralized, and they will still be in this game, or at least in this battle. Oh, but so many blue units have been lost. The Tyler trying to get focused down by Pro in that chase, but to no avail.
Oh man, Carbon Team probably will come out on top here. The blue team has such a longer ferry distance. Although their creeps are flowing in. I don't think they have bot spawners down, no. I don't see any blue dots over there by the fort. But uh, yeah, they, they have such a longer ferry distance. And uh, upkeep is still pretty even. Goes back down to neutral. This fight is just super intense. Pretty much everything that the blue team has on the field is over here. And Pro getting a kill on Lay Assassin. But I think... Oh no, the, the blue team is not letting up. The pressure continues. Infantry and more infantry for the reinforcements. Coming out for the blue team. The carbon team needs to neutralize and they need it right now. Will they be able to get it? There's so many infantry though. Lay Assassin trying to do the Mantis Strike to Whirlwind combo. That does quite a lot of damage, but it's not enough. The blue team maintaining outpost control and this is going to be in the blue team's favor. 56 to 48 right now. And it does look like Pro is setting his eyes on the next outpost available to capture. Tyler coming to respond with a couple of butchers, so they will probably be okay. But the blue team definitely has the advantage in the fight right now. It is two up. Uh, two outposts to four and that is pretty pretty huge Lay Assassin trying to Mantis Strike and stay alive as much as he possibly can there's two flackers shooting in his face right over here and a Tyler choosing to push back a Tyler choosing to push back into this bottom outpost will the blue team scout this they do pro sees it will he throw down the stasis they are reallocating their out their units to uh, defend against this push is a Tyler gonna okay where did he set these to go and it does look like Lay Assassin has a few uh, jumpers of his own to send he's stopping okay he now he has them on follow we better watch out for those flackers those are doing tons of damage he set them over here where Lay Assassin is gonna bring his uh, infantry as well will the blue team be able to hold here and it does look like the carbon team or sorry the blue team kind of shifting their focus realizing those units must have come from somewhere the corner outpost is now under blue control Will the bottom be, will they be able to hold? Will the blue team be able to hold? Taking that bottom left outpost is pretty huge because now they have a place that they can reinforce at times that this outpost gets neutralized. Lay Assassin, is, oh wait, where is Lay Assassin? Uh, I think he just set something up here. Okay, I don't know. That was, that was kind of weird. Maybe he can tell me what he did there. I did, I did not catch that. But the Carbon team taking this outpost back. 49 to 39, blue team winning slightly, but they are definitely not as ahead as they were when uh, they held that bottom outpost and held it firmly. Ly gonna try to cheese this right side. While it is 2v1 down here in the bottom left corner, the blue team losing their foothold on that, but Ly just has one more infantry that he needs to take this outpost under the control and pro with even more, so this, <laughs> the, the focus has just shifted to the right. And now Tyler using all the units they have over here. Going to push to corner. Lay Assassin going to try to do what he can on a 2v1 situation on the right side. With just jumpers. I mean, they're efficient in terms of, uh, you know, credit spent to damage done. But really low on health. He might not be able to make it out of here. And there you go. Lay Assassin going down. Now blue team holding right side. Again, it is 2 to 4. And we just have shifted which 2 and which 4 that are under blue and carbon's control now 2v1 down here at the bottom lace has now respawning needs to come and support Atila as much as possible gangsters coming out by lay assassin okay they will be able to hold here at the bottom oh no lie using that bomber so well killing the infantry delaying the outpost recapture and some gangsters down here by uh, pro 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 It's completely empty over here, and Pro getting followed by Lay Assassin, but it's a Neo and a Bomber chasing, so he won't really be able to get much done there. Loot Team getting the Outpost back under the control, and the Car Carbon Team so, so unit capped right now. Max 44 versus Max 104. That is one change that I would like to see definitely, too. Some more uh, power... Uh, or at least upkeep swing back into uh, to fort from outposts. It's so heavy right now in outposts that snowballing is super hard that you're basically forced to be this aggressive because if you allow your uh, uh, you know your opponent to have that much of an upkeep or a, an outpost lead for a long period of time, 
there's no real way that you can stand a chance in the game anymore. So number one prior priority right now is neutralizing this outpost to even out the, the, the income. And Carbon Team moving everything they had at the corner back to this spot because it will neutralize. And a couple of gangster drops here. Oh man, that is going to be pretty strong. Lay Assassin as the bomber needs to come and respond to that. And does have one gangster left in his cargo. There you go. Will be able to get that killed. But at the cost of about a quarter health. Lie doing some uh, some harass. Okay, I think the Carbon team can safely take this outpost back and hold it. But Lai going to pick off whatever he can down here at the bottom left. And Pro regaining control of the right side. Oh, there's way too many heavy type units over here. Lay Assassin will probably not make it out of here alive. Oh no, Q heal and dash. Able to get out of there. Dash, boost, whatever you want to call it. Scarp team needs to take this outpost back under the control. They need the income and they need it ASAP. And it still stays neutral. Lion Pro not letting up at all. Will Tyler choose to push forward? There are so many heavy mines here and up here. I don't know if they know about it, but as the Osprey, he can just pretty much hold right click along the path and he will be able to reveal those mines. He won't really necessarily be able to uh, disarm them that, that quickly. And Lai microing around this goalie, trying to keep it alive as long as possible, while Pro 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 neutralizes this bottom right hand corner. Atila coming to respond. No, just setting down more heavy mines, preventing the push in. And uh, Lai's still alive. Lai's still alive, doesn't really have any energy left. Gonna recharge and gonna try to get the goalie. No, he's not gonna try to retrieve the goalie, because it's dead. Gonna push now, gonna push to fort, while Pro is here. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Just waiting. One, two, three, four. Needs to body block for that for that creep. And does just that. While Lay Assassin neutralizing this left side with a couple of gangsters and his whirlwind. But I don't think the Carbon team is aware that this gangster push was coming until now. And it's accompanied by two Gorgons, so that's pretty dangerous. Not gonna be so easy to kill with the mech. Carbon team is at less than less than a third of their health. And they have lost this bottom left corner once again to Pro and Atila. Or no, from the Pro and Atila. Pro and Lie. Atila going to try to push in, but I don't know if this is actually going to work. Especially with two mechs over here. And still more damage being done, I guess, by the Gorgons. Now Lay Assassin can leave because he has been able to finish off the gangsters. But uh, Heavy Mines. I don't... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of units killed by the Heavy Mine. Lay Assassin getting killed, and Atila forced to pull back. Needs to guard that outpost if he wants to stand a chance in this game at this point. But Pro and Lai, relentless under pressure. Gonna try to take this outpost and keep it this time. Keep it for good. Lay Assassin now coming back to the fight. Does have the gangsters. Oh, they have been able to take up that top outpost. I guess that was probably gangsters. Didn't even realize that. Top, or not top, right, right side. Another gangster drop. Will it get through the lunchbox shield? That definitely needs to be addressed. That got through the shield really, really fast. And now scary fort damage sound coming out. Lay Assassin. Oh boy. Nope. Nope. Too many creeps around. And that is pretty much it. Even though the carbon team has that right outpost, there's so much attacking their fort right now. And the, basically, gangsters on Sandrin. Yeah, probably something more needs to be done about gangsters. But uh, that this was probably one of the most intense, uh, constant action games that has been sent in to me in a really, really long time. Regardless of how it played out, regardless of what was used to earn the victory, this was a this was a pretty awesome game, I must admit. Pro and the uh, Pro and Lie can probably get a finish really really soon. 
pro as a Neo, can drop anytime he wants. Like, along with him, if they do a coordinated drop, you can just, that's like five, or not even, that's like two, three percent of health. I don't know. Really, really low. And there you go. Goalie, goalie down. Uh, body blocked by Lay Assassin, but didn't really need it, uh, or didn't really matter. Blue team, pro, 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 and LyYR taking this ranked 2v2 game on Sandrum over Lay Assassin and Tyla. Turning points? Oh, man. So much to think about. Um, early harass was pretty, was pretty important, I think. After taking those posts, I mean, the map was pretty split. And then Tyla pushed out and pulled back. I don't know, guys. If you guys can pick a turning point, in there, I'd like. Th there was just so much chaos in the, on the map um, during that entire game. That bottom fight was one of the most drawn-out, intense, uh, constant pressure attacks and battles that I've ever seen, probably ever. Definitely ranks in like top five, top three, maybe. I don't know, but um, great, 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 great game by some of the best players. I've been saying it over and over, but Carry Me, number one tournament, going to be on April 21st at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, hosted by Frisky Cow. If you want to play, don't be afraid to sign up. That's all. I, that's that's the message that I want to that I want to get across here. A lot of people are just kind of nervous and don't want to get out there. Maybe they're kind of shy about it. Um, I think it's important to try to give it a shot. You know. Um, and if you, if you're interested, trust me, no one cares if you lose. And if you're one of the newer players, you're going to get uh, paired with a higher level player and you just blame it on them anyway. Uh, that's probably not the best message to send, but, um, either way, I encourage everyone to participate. This is RUI and that is game. See you next time.